Breaking news this morning, Baltimore police are investigating a shooting that left two people dead and injured more than two dozen others. It happened at a block party in South Baltimore early this morning. Officials say two adults were killed. 28 others were injured. Three of those are in serious condition. Nine victims were taken to the hospital by emergency crews. Police say other victims took themselves to the hospital to get checked. This morning, the mayor of Baltimore shared his thoughts on the shooting. Uh, this morning, all of Baltimore is grieving the lives that we lost here and our hearts are with all those who are still recovering at the result of this mass shooting. Investigators say they are reviewing surveillance video and speaking to witnesses. Police have not identified any suspects. And breaking news this morning in the upstate, South Carolina Highway Patrol says a pedestrian is dead after being pinned between two vehicles in Greenville County. The crash happened shortly before 8 o'clock last night on El Dorado Drive. Troopers say a pedestrian was standing behind a parked car and a truck hit the pedestrian, then continued forward and hit the back of the parked car. The pedestrian was pinned between both vehicles and died at the scene. The driver of the truck was not injured. This crash remains under investigation. In Cherokee County, we are learning new information about the body found inside a barrel in a lake. The Spartanburg County coroner identified the victim as 56-year-old Jeffrey Sutfin. The barrel was found near the shore of Lake Thickety on Thursday afternoon. The coroner says it appears the body was in the container for a number of days. Authorities say Sutfin was killed in Spartanburg County. Deputies say 25-year-old Eric Fetzer has been arrested and charged with destruction, desecration, or removal of human remains. In Anderson County, the body of a missing 18 year old has been recovered from Lake Harwell. The coroner's office says Luis Pontes died due to drowning. Deputies were called to Sunny Shore Lane shortly before 1.30 Friday afternoon. They say Pontes and a group of friends were staying at a house on Lake Hartwell when he was reported missing. This morning, Spartanburg police are looking for multiple suspects after a man was found dead in a home. Police say officers responded to a home invasion call on George Street around 2 o'clock yesterday morning. They say a man was found in one of the bedrooms with a gunshot wound to the head. The coroner says 66-year-old Robert Bivings died. If you have any information, you're encouraged to call Crime Stoppers. Turning now to commitment 2024, former President Donald Trump made a stop on the campaign trail in Pickens this weekend. Here is an exclusive view from Sky 4 over the crowd before Trump took the stage around 1.30 yesterday afternoon. WYFF News 4's Taggart Houck was there highlighting the former president's message to voters. Thousands of people flooded downtown Pickens, eagerly awaiting former President Donald Trump. There's no politician in America that could draw this crowd. You know, if he's got people who don't like him, but the people who do like him really like him. We see it all across America at every Trump rally. Very excited to see it here in Pickens, South Carolina. President Donald J. Trump! There's nowhere else I'd rather be to kick off the 4th of July weekend than right here on Main Street. Trump is the front runner for the GOP nomination, despite federal and state indictments. They want to silence me because I will never let them silence you. And in the end, they're not after me, they're after you. And I just happen to be standing in their way. He took aim at President Joe Biden. Joe Biden's policy is China first. My policy is very simple, America first and said he'd appoint a special prosecutor to probe the Biden family. Because you never heard me use this kind of language. I wouldn't want to, out of respect for our country and for the office, but uh, we, we really have no choice. These people are sick. They're sick people. Trump said he's committed to strong borders and a strong economy. And we will make America great again. Thank you to South Carolina. Thank you very much, Pickens. That was our Taggart Halk reporting. In response to President Trump's visit, the Democratic Party says Trump's policies, especially on the economy, left a lot of South Carolinians behind. And for more on for former President Trump's visit to the upstate, head to our website, wyffnews4.com. 
In Piedmont, a building is damaged this morning after fire crews responded to reports of a roof collapse. Tiles from the roof of the entrance fell to the ground yesterday and more were hanging from the ceiling. Palmetto Baptist Church, Amplify Sports and Bon Secours St. Francis Therapy Center are all housed in the building on Powers Boulevard. No injuries were reported. In North Carolina, a roller coaster at a popular amusement park is shut down after a visitor noticed a crack in a support post. Take a look at this video of the Fury 325 ride at Carowinds on Friday. Shows a crack at the top of a steel pole. As risers, riders come around the corner, the crack appears to expand and contract. The guest who took the video tells CNN he reported the crack to guest services before leaving the park, then also car called the Charlotte Fire Department. The ride was then shut down. In an email to CNN, Carowin says all rides are inspected daily and Fury will remain closed until repairs are complete.